guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today we are going to draw Pascal from Disney's Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, the new fun cartoon series. It's been out for a while now and you know, I absolutely fell in love with it and I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and draw Pascal today. I've done a couple of other Tangled Adventure characters so make sure you go and check those out and so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways, so let's go ahead and draw Pascal, kind of lay out his body. This will be super fun and easy. So I'm just gonna make a big old circle right here. And then I'm actually going to bring out this back part here, then round it back up so it looks like a weird kind of looking eyeball. And then I'm gonna circle right into here. So I'm gonna make a circle right there. All right, now let's get a little closer. So the next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and just place Pascal's eyes. So I'm gonna keep his eye guideline going upwards like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put one big circle right here. And then one big circle off to the side over here. Next, what I'd like to do is go ahead and draw a circle inside that circle. Leave a little bit of room and white on the side, and then I'm gonna draw a big old circle in here too. But I'm gonna leave some white inside the eye. There we go. Next, what I'd like to do is go ahead and draw one little dot here on the eye line in between the eyes, and another little dot right here. I'm actually going to bring up this line, bring it up, and I'm gonna go ahead and go right on top of that eyeball. Alrighty. Then, on this eye line that we just made, this nose eye line, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a ridged eyebrow. So it looks like it's all connected. And then on top of this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and make an eyelid. And of course, I'm going to make some eye, an eyelash line, just a nice thick eyelash line right on top of that circle. I'm gonna go ahead and jump inside, give a nice pretty shine to that pupil iris area. Make the pupil go all the way to the side along with the iris. I'm going to go all the way over. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. There we go. And then, I'm going to jump over here and do the same thing. Bring this up alongside the eye. So I'm going to bring, this is my eye. Let's go ahead and make that eye guideline nice and neat. Bring it up side, alongside the eye. Go right over that eyeball. So I'm gonna get rid of this guideline right here. And then I'm gonna make one, two, three. Little ridged eyebrow line. And I'm gonna leave this over here so I can go ahead and color this in. Color this in, color this in. Color these in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw another eyelash line. eyelash line, eyelid line, and here is that eyelash line. Get nice and dark, jump in, big old shine to that eye, and then we're gonna put the iris and the pupil, the pupil right in that middle, that big old brown iris that Pascal has. And then from this eyebrow line up here, I'm gonna go ahead, bring this out just a little bit, make a point. So you see, I make a point. I'm gonna go right back into that circle. Alrighty, then I'm gonna jump over to this eye over here, bring out one little line, kind of curve it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead, go in front of it. So I'm gonna go in front of my face, like the eyes and the nose line. So 
see how I curve upward. I'm gonna go down and go right back up. So you see, go down, up. That gives me my cute little smile for my Pascal. Sure, these are all nice and even. And then I'm gonna go out from this spot right here, make a little bit of an overlip, bring that down, and go right back into that chin. So it kind of goes out just a little bit over the top part. Let's see, I'll erase that so you can see it just a little bit better. Here we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and put like his cute little paws underneath his face like he's holding it up so underneath right here you're gonna go ahead and curve this up and it's gonna go right underneath and you're gonna make his little claws they look like claws bring this out same over here you're gonna go right underneath here bring out one little claw underneath his chin this one's just gonna go down. So from this little claw right here, I'm gonna bring down one little arm, bring down this arm, go up into his body. Same here, you're gonna go into the body right here. So bring in that arm here. And then from this one down here, you can bring this down and you're gonna go right alongside of it and tuck it right back up into his body. So you see he's got his little claws underneath his face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and divide this one, bring this one in here, one little claw, and then another little claw. And then back here, we're gonna draw one tucked underneath his belly. So I'm gonna go ahead, round this off, bring out this little claw, go in, jump over, make another little claw. I have no idea the lizard anatomy. I, don't, I have no idea if they're claws. I have no idea. He's a chameleon, whatever chameleons have. Claws, paws, whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and bring from this little claw here, bring up this part, go into his body. From the back here, you're gonna bring up this part too. And that's all you have to do for right here. So you got one little piece going out this way one little piece overlapped here and that's all you have to draw for that and then you're gonna go ahead and connect these make these a little bit more fluid then from right here from his tail you're gonna go back and you're not gonna make a complete thing but you're gonna go back underneath and curl this one and so then his little Rest of his body's right here going up. You got one little, one little scaly hump here, one little part here, and then another little part, just a scaly bump, and then goes into connect into his, the rest of his body. Then he's got a little stripey stripe here, so you're just gonna go back here. So it's just kind of tucked right here, and then you've got another little one right here tucked between behind his leg. Go ahead and shade that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and shade this in. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Pascal from Disney's uh, Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. And so if you haven't seen it already, I taught a tutorial how to draw Mr. Flynn and a new version of Rapunzel. I know I t taught a tutorial a long time ago about on um, Rapunzel, but I redid it. And so now you have Flynn, Rapunzel, and Pascal. Let's go ahead and move to Cassandra next. <laughs> 